Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude. Today I'm going to show you um, my artist edition of uh, Roy Thomas and Barry Winter Smith. They did Robert E. Howard's Conan Red Nails. And Barry Winter Smith and Roy Thomas really did a great job. If you know BWS's artwork, it's beautiful. With the detail, you can just see from the front. Kyrie in there. But well, see, this is a slip case. And it's pretty heavy, so it's going to... I have to turn it on its side to get it out of the slipcase, but this is the front here. And here's the side. Volume 1. I hope they're going to come up with more because this is beautiful. And here's the back here. Conan the Barbarian. The only safe enemy was a headless enemy, Robert E. Howard. Whoa. Very cool, so now... Get this out of here. Got to turn it on its side. See, like I said, it's a slip case. It's sliding out there. And you can see it fits in there like that. So I'll set this over here for now. And set this beautiful baby up here. That's the front cover of the actual book here. Conan on the front there with his sword. And the side again. And here's the back cover. And look at the detail in that. Looks like Red Sonya or somebody in there with it on Conan. Well, want will make a, a rogue of any man. Robert E. Howard. Very cool. So let's turn this back around. You can see the page in front of the book there. The opening of the pages are. Get this pretty much centered so it'll open up real good. Okay. There's the front cover. The front inside cover. It's all black pages. Hopefully I can get somebody to sign this one day. I'm not sure Barry Windsor Smith or uh, Roy Thomas, they do any signings. I'm not even sure. I know Barry Windsor Smith's still alive. I haven't heard anything from Roy Thomas. I don't know. If you know, let me know and put in the comments down there about either one of them. And I know Robert E. Howard isn't alive anymore, but awesome writing. He's alive in his stories, as you say. Um, this is very inspirational, too, just looking at all of this. Look, the detail in the artwork. But this contains uh, all the pages from these books here. That's the front, the first page there. And this is the other side. Oh, this is just a reversal. Of the picture on this side. What red nails? Conan red nails. It's an introduction. I can go through, I'm not sure how you, you pause it. You can pause it and read it. If it'll work. And then over here, you can read that. Appreciation. They did a lot of writing in here, a lot of uh, introductions and stuff in this book. I noticed. I haven't read them yet, but I got. I'm going to. It was very good. I read a few, th read through through some of them, but not all of them. It's just cool to um, see what people have to say when you read these introductions and everything about somebody's artwork or somebody's writing. That's by George Perez. There, that's cool. This one, talking about the long wait that artists had to, or writers, I mean, fans had to uh, wait for this. Finally done. Conan Red Nails. Here's the first piece of artwork. Look at all the uh, letters and everything. The notes and the marks on the paper. 
and the pen lines. That's just cool to be able to see these. And co copy these in color so you can see them better. Look at the detail in the uh, shield, wristbands, gauntlets, and the sandals. Awesome. And in here, all the detail there. See, they only do just, they don't do both sides here, they just do one side. There's a lot of pages in this book. You see that? In detail, and just the rips and tears and the marks on the pages. They stick it looks like they did a lot of this they had the artwork and they stuck the cut the word balloons out and stuck them down after they figured out where they were going to be they didn't actually draw right onto the paperwork except for maybe the pointers to see who's speaking you can see that they cut out the uh narration and stuck them down over top of the artwork look at that just beautiful squares There's a date on there. You see all of that? I'll go through a little faster. But it's just beautiful. I want you to see all of this. Enjoy this like I'm enjoying it. If you, if you can't pick it up, hopefully you can enjoy looking at this over and over again. So I'm going to spend time to make sure you can look at look at it all in detail. Look at hone it. I got almost called him Honan, <laughs> like horn dog. But he likes uh, Red Sonya there, or I'm not sure who she is. I missed it. But beautiful woman. It's really cool, his pose, the poses and everything, just the style that Barry Winter Smith has. Look at all the leaves and everything that he drew. I mean, when you get up on it and everything, it looks like it's kind of scribbled in there and everything, but he spent the time to do that. And if anybody is an artist out there, you know when you doodle, you just take a pair of li some lined paper or any a notepad or something, you just doodle all over it um, a, with a pen or pencil or marker or whatever like that. And, you spend hours and hours just putting line works and drawing all these different things. When you get done with it, sometimes you're like, wow, I could frame this or something like that. Maybe I could sell it. Depending on what you put into it and everything. You put time into it and everything. But you come up with a lot of these ideas when you're designing something, maybe or just daydreaming just to kill time. Sometimes you come up with some awesome stuff. Maybe use it later in a story or something like that or a background for something cut some pictures out and put behind it or copy it and put it in Photoshop or something but uh, it's just so cool to be able to see his artwork like this and the details hopefully it inspires you by looking at this the power that he has there's that page there it's like wow Is the gray value everything has that he puts in there. This, the white areas. And it's not too much, just enough. The white areas. And then the grays that he puts in there and the darks. Everything's just really nice how it leads your eye around like that. And a big circle there. And that takes a little bit of practice there, like figuring out how you want to lead people's eye in the picture to show the action. Everything just the the foot and then the sword and then the leg coming around this way and her feet 
the hands coming around leads you down to this page here coming around here and that way and the way the uh, narrations put in there leads you through everything but we usually read right to left or left to right I mean so you just know to go that way but if you can do it that way to lead the eye that's good too good storytelling techniques this awesome artwork you see all the little marks and everything on it you see the little cross hatching there wow That square there, just the, the blackness to show how dark it is, but you can still see what's going on there. There's the what this was on the back of the cover. There, that it looks like in the book the dust and everything that he's kicking up. Look how cool that looks! His beautiful eyes. flip through it a little faster here to get through so the video is not too long but I just want you to enjoy this it's just so cool and I'm not sure what the, the finished version of this if there's anything on here when they put it in color put the color into it because sometimes they do that the, the black and white pages won't have everything on it that it has in the finished version they even said that it, and I looked at some of the stuff in the back where it talks about how these pages aren't really the, the completed thing. This is just the raw, untouched or untouched versions of these. But he might have went in, the artist might have went in and changed a few things, or added things to the artwork. Before they turned the pages in, or before they got it all done, and published it. If you have the original books and everything, if you can get the trade paperback or hard covers of these, it'd be good to have them, which I have to do. I bought this, and I just, I've always loved Barry Windsor Smith's artwork. And I just got to get go get a few of his books, and get the trades, and get them off of Amazon or eBay or something, or borrow them from the library or something like that from a friend. Just the cool details and the lines. Let's go. I see it on bottle would be good for a tattoo. I'm gonna go through a little quicker here. sure you like the pages on that side there what, what it is that you'll be looking at These all these are nice. More of a beard down there too. See the cross hatching that he does. Just to get like texture in the background and the shading. Just 
really nice. side there. There's 36 there. Here's some more notes to Roy or from Roy or to Roy. stuff on the side there. Nice. That's really cool. More details, so detailed. The scales, everything. Just the eyes and just the style. Look at the lizard, lizard skin. Wow. Winter Smith, awesome. He said, and then just Robert E. Howard's story. Cool. Really nice style. It's a weird looking creature there. No jaw. Some of the pages are marked up more than others. What they say. It's really cool there. Finney. This is an ending editorial, something that somebody wrote, Jose Villarubia. Speaking about it. Howard and Red Nails. Somebody else explaining about the story as well. Explain how he took his life, Robert E. Howard, 
another tragic story. Sad, but awesome artist. I'm glad he lived long enough just to be able to say what he had to say and leave this behind for people just to get inspired by what he's done, his artwork, with artwork of uh, writing. Well, that's him there. He's 30 years old. Here's the final word here. stuff he's written, who he's worked with, and Barry Winter Smith. So, well that's the end of that. That's inside back cover there. That's the back cover. But this was very cool. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and just uh, hopefully one day you can go out and buy one of these and or if volume two comes up buy that one or get the original comics like i said it'd be a lot cheaper just to get the uh trade paperbacks or the hardbacks of these and go on amazon or ebay or library or something like that but thank you very much for watching and like subscribe comment please let me know what you think let me know what if you what you think about barry windsor smith or any of the other artists and everything and what they what they're putting out and what you're collecting okay thanks again you guys have a great day Okay, peace out.